My husband and I were at NASCAR and we went on to the top part of the Tarst one that we belonged to and went clear up to the top. I just noticed that my legs were really hot, you know, and that seemed really weird and I just kept kind of rubbing my legs, you know. She was just like out of it, like something wasn't right. And then I noticed her whole side of her face was, was dropped and her lip and she couldn't understand what I was saying and I told her you couldn't hear. So I told her we have to go down, downstairs, we gotta get out of here. So we got her and got her down the steps and right below the steps was the EMT office at the track, right below the steps. They checked her out, knew she had a massive stroke. We went right straight over to uh, West Valley Hospital. And once we got there, they started administering this drug and they said she had some clots in her brain. And they had had to give her this one miracle drug, they called it, to shrink the clots. They were just getting everything hooked up and you know how people are, they're so busy in there. Uh, here come the Life Light people. And I'm going, Life Light? You know, they're taking her over here to Phoenix Baptist Hospital. And it, she needs to go now. So they took her and then I got a phone call from Dr. Sapphire that they needed to do immediate surgery on her, that she had a massive stroke. I says, what are we doing? And he says, he would give me about a 30% chance that she would even live. He told me that he could, um, he was gonna do everything he could, but just the way he was kind of talking to me, I kind of, I, I knew he took it serious. That gave me a lot of comfort, at least that, because he was so urgent, I've got to do this now, and to save her. And I go, do what you have to do, but just please save my wife. And that was the last thing I said, and then I had to drive across town to the hospital, but she was already in surgery. We waited for about 45 minutes, I think, after I got there, and he came out and he told us about what he did, uh, what he had to take out. The one clot that was covering the biggest part of her brain was taken out, and that allowed blood to go back to the rest of the brain. The other clot went high up into the top of her head. Of all vessels where veins were to go into, it went into the bleeding one and plugged it. Of all places to stop, it stopped there. So it stopped the bleeding, but he said he couldn't take that one out because it'd be like opening the floodgates. She wouldn't have made it off the table, so. And he told us that blood cells, like brain cells die in six minutes. Well, she was in surgery, I'm guessing probably within about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes after it happened. We were well within the three hour window. But even so, the brain cells die in six minutes. And so much of her brain was starved. And then the bleeder up there, that part's dead. So we didn't know how much was gonna come back. I didn't. Most of the time they're paralyzed on the right and their speech is pretty much slow, slow recovery for years and years and years. But it didn't happen here. It's, I can't even explain it. It's just as days have gone by, pieces have just turned back on. It's like another part comes on. All of her memory is still there. She knows names and she can say things. She can write. She can do numbers. She can count. She can sing. She does her own hair. She takes care of her own self. All of this kept turning back on. I don't know how. Dr. Sapphire had no, it just doesn't happen. When I'm walking and doing things, I, I feel really, um, I feel really good. So um, as far as being able to I can do pretty much everything. I guess when you're blessed with a miracle, you just, you're just you never gonna forget it. And I'll never forget that day at the racetrack. I'll never forget when she said, I love you. And I left thinking that's the last thing I'd ever hear from her again, other than putting her in the ground. But now I can hear her laugh again. We joke, we laugh, she's getting better. Uh, our future's back for whatever time we have. Dr. Sapphire did an amazing thing, he saved my wife. Um, 
and I thank him for it. He's absolutely amazing that he saved me like that because I would never have made it.